All right, guys, let's talk rare. G-Shock 6900. This is the limited edition from 2019. Love the Sea and the Earth. And whatever that organization is. But that's the box it comes in. Here's the hang tag. You can see there it is a GW6903K-7JR. There's all the stuff it comes with. Has the 3179 module. The price for this was in yen because it was a JDM model apparently. Um, but we'll just take a quick look at it, uh, cover measurements. So to keep it fair, I don't include um, crown guards or bumpers. So we're going to measure from here to here. That would be 44.6 millimeter. The lug to lug, if you will, even though it's a proprietary strap design, if you measure basically from the case from here to here, it is 53 millimeter. The thickness, 15.3 and in this configuration weighs 64 grams. So, um, multi-band six, tough solar, has all of those good things that you want in your G-Shock. This one also has a kind of see-through design of the case and the strap. It also has some artwork on there of some animals, I think fit different uh, fish, uh, ocean life there. So yeah, there's a bunch of them on there. Like all G-Shocks, you can kind of see it in the video. When you go with these see-through bands, they'll start to yellow over time. This one, I think, is in the very early stages of that. But you also have to keep in mind, some of that is actually kind of not bleed through, but it's a visual effect that's happening with some of this gold print that is on the strap and everything. I think some of that is actually kind of like part of what you're seeing. It's not like, cause this part doesn't really look yellow to me. Maybe it does in video, but it doesn't, and the case really doesn't look like it to me and to the naked eye. But you can see there, you have a sh your solar cell. You can kind of see it there. If I hit that angle right there, you can see a bunch of that real estate for the solar cell that's helping with the charge. And uh, you have the um, active um, three circles up top there with the seconds being counted. And then, of course, you have the different modes where you'll see uh, different things selected. So, like you can do alarms, stopwatch, you can do a timer, that's countdown timer, and then you can go back to your time. Adjusting them is easy. Uh, it is multiband 6, so it should pick up the radio signal for your time, and it'll uh, keep that time. So... There you go. Let's pop this guy on wrist. Um, G-Shocks wear a little bit larger. This is not the largest G-Shock, but it is large. But uh, to keep it in somewhat perspective, I'm wearing a fairly large watch right now. It's a Oris Aquis 43.5 uh, millimeter. So it's, you know, kind of comparable in size, honestly. It's not too far off. So let me pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. There you go. That's what that guy looks like on my wrist. So you can get away with a little bit larger watch with these G-Shocks because it only weighs 64 grams. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't feel like a big watch on wrist, I should say. We also need to kill the lights and check the backlight. There's a little special, um, I don't know, it's not really an Easter egg. It's sometimes with, oh, this button right here is your light button too on the 6900s. So if you hit that button right there, you can kind of see it's difficult to really show, but it's some sort of whale. I don't know which one it is. You guys probably know more about it than I do. But I uh, just wanted to get this watch on video and share it with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.